All right. Well, I am portraying an infantryman from the uh, 1876 uh, Sioux campaign, which, uh, as we know, culminated in uh, Custer's defeat at Little Bighorn. Um, Custer didn't have any infantry with him, but the other columns that were involved in that whole campaign under uh, George Crook um, and, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the other general, John Gibbon. Uh, Crook and Gibbons columns both had uh, infantry with them, and this is just this is a very basic uh, outload of what an infantryman would have worn during that campaign. Um, of course, I don't have the big backpack and all that, but it's just a standard black slouch hat. Um, in this case, I'm wearing an 1874 uh, field blouse. The 1874 field blouses, both the cavalry and infantry, were like trimmed in the branch of service color. Um, not everybody had these. Um, I know in Crook's column, maybe a fourth of the troops were outfitted with the, the actual 1874 uh, tunic. Everybody else was using the sack coats, Civil War issue sack coats. We're only talking uh, 10 years after the fact. This occurred in 1876. So, um, in addition to the, the, uh, the blouse, I'm also wearing what was called a, a prairie field belt and just a simple leather belt and then with a loop for the 4570 uh, ammunition. Film that. These were pretty common. Um, the actual official leather gear uh, was escapes me. Um, it was a lot more common to see this type because you didn't have to with a field belt. You just pull the ammunition right out of the loops. You didn't have to worry about fiddling and opening uh, the cartridge boxes, the McKeever cartridge boxes, and everything. It was all right on your belt and easily accessible. The trousers are basically pretty much unchanged from Civil War Union Army trousers. Same thing with the boots. Um, none of that had changed from the Civil War time period. Um, the real changes to the, uh, like, and I don't have on a haversack. It was an 1874 haversack, much larger than a Civil War version. Um, hope to have one of those soon. Um, I guess the big thing with this impression is the weapon itself. This is an 1873 Springfield Trap Door rifle. Um, this particular one, even though it is an 1873, at some point the Army changed the sight. That's not an original 1873 back sight. It's a, uh, I believe it's an 1885. It's either an 83 or 85. Um, other than that, everything here would have been minus the sight exactly what they would have carried during the 1876 campaign. Um, what made this a little bit different than the Civil War rifle, the Springfield rifle, was that it was a trapdoor, thus called because of this. You put it on half cock, flip that with your thumb, the breech opens up, you put your rounds in, close, full cock, and fire. Uh, obviously single shot one at a time still an improvement over like an 1861 Springfield which had to be loaded from the muzzle and you know go through the entire patch and <laughs> bullet process you didn't have to worry about that with a Springfield trap so it was an improvement over the Civil War version. hope to have more soon Indian War stuff uh, cavalry and we can talk more about that in that time. Thank <laughs> you.